In Mozambique, at least until recently, growth has been very high and the big picture stuff has all been looking good. A donor darling in many respects. The problem is that once we start looking down a level, down to poverty rates and other things like that, some questions start arising. And what I've been doing in this research is looking at the jobs market in particular. In the jobs market, one of the big challenges is really a lack of what we call structural transformation. What does that mean? That means individuals aren't moving from lower productivity jobs to higher productivity jobs. So if we look at the, the share of people who are working in agriculture, that has reduced a little bit, but really not very much at all. And in fact, the reduction in the share of people working in agriculture has been driven by people moving from low productivity agriculture to uh, low productivity services. Uh, so that's not really what we call a positive structural transformation story. And what we find is that while there has been some within sector productivity growth, which means improvements, say, within agriculture, we haven't seen movements of people from these low productivity to higher productivity activities. One of the reasons is the pattern of growth. So uh, part of the growth in Mozambique, and particularly recently, has been uh, driven by a lot of capital intensive activities. So investments in the gas and the coal sectors. That uh, produces a lot of big picture good numbers, but at the lower level it's not producing high quality jobs. The main finding is that individuals in Mozambique are not moving from lower paid, lower productivity jobs to higher paid, higher productivity jobs. To make matters more challenging, population is increasing rapidly. That means that lots of young people are coming into the job market each year, and we estimate around 300,000 new jobs need to be created each year, and the economy isn't producing high quality jobs of this number. Higher productivity or higher paid, better jobs need to be found where people are working, and that means in agriculture. So we need to be able to provide support to people working in agriculture so that their incomes can be higher. I think there are two challenges facing policymakers in Mozambique. The first is to support agriculture. Agricultural uh, productivity, agricultural yields are extremely low in Mozambique. So provision of new technologies such as better seeds can go a long way. The second uh, challenge is to uh, improve labor intensive manufacturing. That means improving infrastructure, improving skills such that more investors will come in to create labor intensive jobs. The population pressure is a challenge, it's an opportunity. The opportunity is lots more people coming into the market, bigger cities and potentially more productivity. That makes it more interesting for investors to create larger factories and larger jobs. So there's definitely an opportunity there for the next generation.